It's very strange how um, anniversaries can make you feel. Um, today is the first um, anniversary of my mum's death. It's um, 20 past five in the morning. Um, I think I was calmer uh, when she actually died than I feel today. I feel quite sad and lots of heartache today. Um, brings home the loss of obviously all the sorts of people in our lives that we love. A friend of mine has just lost her mum and um, I know quite a few people who have been losing people in their families. Um, last year I was calmer, there was so much going on um, and I, to be honest I was so glad that my mum was out of all the pain and the suffering that she had but I kind of felt a little bit glad that she was out of it and gone. And obviously, you know, you, you think of all the wonderful memories that you can hold on to, but you only have one mother, and when they're gone, they're gone, whether they're a good mum, a bad mum, or an indifferent mum, whether they're a difficult mum, or an absolutely amazing mother, you only have one mum, you have one dad. And Obviously, as your parents get older, you see them becoming more vulnerable and you know that that cycle of life is not going to be hanging on for too much longer. Um, that's when it really hits you, isn't it? When they're gone and you know there is no more parent to turn to. Uh, you know, and that's when, hopefully you have the other members of your family or your close friends or your children to rally around you and, and give you support and if you don't have that then you know maybe you have friends who you can turn to for support. I know that on a day like today I know where I would love to be, who I would love to be here. Um, I'm going to spend the day celebrating my mum's life, having a good old laugh because she was a grumpy git and um, with um, my daughter and grandchildren, son-in-law to be, um, my dad and my sister, um, kind of placing some flowers on a grave. Um, and I'll be working later on tonight and I always find that for me working keeps my mind active and busy. But for all of you who have lost someone special, I send out my love and my energy today to you too. Tears can be devastating and tears can be healing in this kind of loss. Tears are important. But what's also important is to remember all the blessings of having those people in your life for as long as you had them and remembering them and honouring them by being happy for them, being happy that they are in a better place, they are at peace, they're out of their misery and suffering. And our suffering continues in a different way, but it's a suffering that does ease as time goes on. But these days are always going to be tough, always going to be tough. And so I just wanted you to know that on a day when I'm feeling sad and lost and not having the people around me who I really want to be there, um, I'm also thinking of you guys as well. Right? Sending you love during your time of loss as well. We can do it.